I think I've just had one too many sangrias too many, right? News, EastEnders will be welcoming back Louisa Litton when she reprises her role as Ruby Allen later this year. What? What? Biggest body blow yet. Never liked the character when she was in it. Never liked her dad. Um, I thought she was boring, um, uninspir uninspiring. Um, I don't think Louisa is a very good actress. Sorry, Louisa, you seem like a lovely, sweet girl. But I don't think you should be in this industry. So they're bringing her back. What does this mean? What does this tell you about EastEnders in 2018? They don't have any motivation to give you a new show that works with new, inspirational, exciting characters. EastEnders just want to go backwards. When John York came back to EastEnders, I thought the BBC finally wanted to make EastEnders something special. Evolve it for the future. No, we keep on going backwards. So after every single person who's ever been on the show said no to them, they had to go to Louisa. They could have brought Louisa back years ago, but basically they didn't want to. So Ruby Allen's coming back. She hasn't got a brother. She hasn't got a mother. She's got literally no one there apart from Stacy. So what kind of storyline do you expect? An affair with Martin. Well, vertically, that might be uncomfortable. Louise is really little and um, Martin, James By, aka James By, is a very tall lad. Ugh. You know, you just, you just wonder, don't you? You just wonder what's going through these people's heads. It's laziness. This is pure laziness. They don't know what to do. They don't. They have no clue. They don't want to have a clue. They don't want to go into work in the morning and be inspired by this show. Because if I was running this show, boys and girls, right, I'd be, you know, walking through that square set, looking on that out, the outside of that Vic set, thinking to myself, wow, I've arrived. Time to roll my sleeves up and do something special. Not these people, not the BBC. EastEnders is just that damn soap to them. It's a pain in the ass to them. They don't care about it. So let's just bring back Louisa Litton. Yeah, that'll keep those idiots happy. And that's the problem. I hear so many people say the problem with soaps today, there's too many episodes. That's not the problem. If you have the imagination and the creative skills and the passion for something, you can make anything special. Not these people. I, you know, I've spoken to one of the people who works on this show before. And all I've got was a bunch of excuses. You can't please everyone. No, you can't. But as I said a billion times before on here, once you give up trying to please everyone, you might as well get out of Dodge. These people don't even research what it's like to live in the East End anymore. What are we to do with East Enders? They will continue to lose more and more viewers. I don't expect anything good to come of this recasting of Louisa Litton, bringing her back as Ruby Allen. Now, do I expect her father to come back? I hope not. I mean, I think the actor is pretty much just doing voiceover ads and insurance ads. So I don't think he's particularly busy. Maybe someone can correct me if I'm wrong. But this is just the wrong play, the wrong move. This sends out the wrong message, the wrong message. When I, when I first read this, right, my heart sank. I mean, what was it, about 9 or 10, 10 o'clock Cyprus time last night before I was heading out to Ayanapa? And it really just put a downer. I mean, don't don't worry. I went out, had a good time, got chatting to some people like I normally do. But you know, it just it just it just tells me that we are we are not interested. We are literally not interested. So we're just going to look in our back catalogue of characters and just try and create a fraudulent situation. A fraudulent situation because they don't want to create a character that you know, earns the right to be popular in this day and age. And as I say, what can they really do with Ruby Allen? Not very much, not very much at all. But you'll see he'll be Stacey again. Listen, I know some people are fans of this character, of this actor, I am not. It For me, it doesn't present anything exciting, anything. 
All it does tell me is that, do you know what? We can't be asked. We don't care. We don't care. We're not going to try. We're not going to make the effort, you know. And one thing I won't do, I won't engage in anything Louisa says on Twitter. I follow her on Twitter. I used to follow her on Instagram, but I started to get bored of her. But the point is, because I think that's rude and it's not fair and it's hurtful towards her. She's got, she's back on EastEnders. She's got regular work on one of the biggest show on British television. She's going to be happy. Good luck to her. I've no intention of even being negative to her face. You know, and if she sees this video, which she won't, I apologise. But the point is, it's not about individuals. This is about EastEnders. This is about the future of EastEnders. And the more I see what these people are doing, what the BBC are doing, I see no future for this show. All I keep on seeing that every decision just seems to be an act of pulling the wall out of, over the audience's eyes. Just like the knife crime story that literally went nowhere, had no build up and that was over in a flash. Simple as that. And then they claimed they, they were acting like they've solved knife crime. What they did changed nothing. It didn't work. It wasn't effective. Simple as that. Um, same with the casting of Louisa Lytton. What does it actually do for the show? Does it improve the show? How? How does it improve the sh show? How does it give us anything that we haven't got already? She's not uh, that young. What is she now? About 30? She's, you know, she's not a teenager. So I don't really know who, obviously this is an attempt to bring back maybe older characters, but Ruby Allen comes from one of the worst eras of EastEnders in its history. No question about that. Um, Steve McFadden had left us Phil Mitchell for a year. I mean, basically, Johnny Allen's character got kind of interesting when the Mitchells returned and there was a bit of warfare there. But that was, a, you know, you had Jake and, and, and Danny Moon. It was a horrible era. And all they're doing is reminding us of that horrible era and reminding us that they have no idea how to run a soap. It's not about having four or five episodes a week. That's not the cause of the cancer that's engulfed EastEnders for over a decade. The actual cause of their problems is they don't seem to have a clue how to make an integral, engaging, compelling piece of drama. But hang on a minute. They, they make Casualty and Holby. So what's the difference? Why is Casualty and Holby so good? First of all, let's get one thing straight. Casualty and Holby are not soaps. Even though every site and everyone calls them soaps, they are not soaps. They are one-hour dramas. They are different. But they're still made by the BBC, right? Um, so what's the difference? I don't get it. I don't, I don't really understand why they can't grab this show, EastEnders, and excite us about it. You know, in its original run, EastEnders was exciting. You didn't want to miss it. Now you don't care. You might catch it on iPlayer. I watched um, Shax's funeral the other week and I was bored to tears. Didn't work at all for me. Nothing they do works. It's just kind of sounds good in the writer's room, but the execution of anything they do just doesn't work. Obviously, you have to say either the schedule and timetable when they make the show is so quick that they can't cope with the speed they have to make TV. But Coronation Street and Emmerdale and Hollyoaks have got the same issues. And they, you know, they execute a fantastic piece of soap every single night. So why can't EastEnders do this? And why have they resorted to the desperate measure of bringing back a character that never worked? Never worked, right? If you ask seven out of ten EastEnders fans, they will agree with me. There'll be a few say, oh, I love Ruby, she's so good. But can they tell you? Can they tell you why they liked Ruby? Of course they can't. And this is the underlining problem with EastEnders, that there's no inspiration. They're not inspired. The people, If the people making it are not inspired, how can we be inspired? Now, as many issues as I had with um, the Dominic Treadwell Collins era, at least the man seemed to be excited to be there. And at least he was on Twitter and he was talking the thing up. As I say, a lot of the things he did were crap. One of the few things I enjoyed was EastEnders Live. Bringing Kathy back was a major twist. And basically, he didn't do nothing with her character afterwards. But it was an exciting evening. 
we have no excitement now. There's no reason to actually watch this show.